are here today to celebrate the love and marriage of Sarah and Ian. The people here today, Sarah and Ian, the ones closest to you in the world, could not be more excited to celebrate your love with you today. And so thank you for your presence here today, for your blessing, encouragement, and lifelong support of this union. God, we thank you for this day. Uh, God, we thank you for uh, this couple, this new family that you are forming today, God. Uh, we believe that your presence is here among us, God, and I pray that as we uh, celebrate, uh, you will be honored and glorified and that their marriage um, will ultimately be an act of worship to you. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Sarah, I will never forget the day I picked you up from the airport for spring break. In spending that short week with you, I saw what an amazing woman God created. As we spent the next few years of our lives thousands of miles apart, I began to fall deeper in love with you. As soon as, soon as you came into my life, I knew you were what Carter and I needed. You are a missing piece. Your carefree presence calms my fears. When I'm with you, the distractions of the world melt away. Ian Matthew, you came into my life at exactly the right time, when I wasn't ready and yet when I needed your love the most. God had a plan for us and because of him, the stars aligned and we connected despite the distance between us. I choose you to stand by your side and sleep in your arms, to be joy to your heart and food to your soul, to learn with you and grow with you, even as time and life change us both to respect you and cherish you as an individual, a partner, and an equal, knowing that we do not complete, but complement each other. I promise to put God at the center of our marriage and pray for you daily. I promise to encourage you and strengthen your relationship with God. I promise to put your, you first in everything I do. I promise to always push you to achieve your dreams. I promise to always make you laugh and take you on adventures. Sarah, you are my forever, my best friend, my dream come true, my shoulder to lean on. I love you. I vow to wake up every morning and thank God that he gave me you, my perfect man. I vow to be your steady rock in turbulent times and love you without reservation. I vow to be the woman that you inspire me to be and the wife that you deserve. And finally, I vow to spend every day I have left on this earth showering you with an indestructible love and a faithful commitment. This isn't just the joining together of a couple, but it's the forming of a brand new family. And so Sarah took the time to write a vow to Carter that she would love to share. Carter, you are the most perfect reflection of your dad. Kind-hearted, genuine, determined, and incredibly funny. I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to laugh with you in times of joy and comfort you in times of sadness. I promise to inspire you and challenge you, helping you grow into the man that God has planned for you to be. I promise to always provide you with a safe and loving home and be available to you anytime, day or night. Lastly, I promise to always love your daddy. I may not have given you the gift of life, but life has given me the gift of you. I love you. At its core, true love is hard because it's a willingness to say every single day, you before me without keeping score. Your needs before mine, your desires before mine, even your happiness before mine. And when two people mutually make that commitment to each other for a lifetime, it's a beautiful thing. I now pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no one separate. Ian, you may now kiss the bride. I know we've seen better days. Life's just a game we play. It is my honor and my joy to introduce to you for the very first time ever, 
Mr. and Mrs. Williams. Follow me to the sunshine. Come and see what it feels like. I remember back in 2014 when you told us that you had met this great guy. Little did we know that this great guy lived in California. We can stay wild, wild, wild. We can stay wild. When they first met um, the weekend when she came to APU, she actually recruited Ian to hold a sign as she asked someone else to the school dance. <laughs> We just realized, I'm like, Ian, this girl's way out of your league. You gotta go for it if you think you can get it. And so we stopped by a grocery store, the only one that was open, um, grabbed some flowers, and you went back for Sarah, which was awesome. On that trip, I met Ian, and I was third wheeling on a date. I don't know why, but I took a, I snuck a picture of her laughing, and it's like, you, she was just beaming from like ear to ear, and it was entirely because of Ian. I really appreciate how you treat my sister, and uh, I love that you make her laugh, and I love that you care about her. So thank we you. Can stay wild, wild. We can stay the things I've done in my lifetime, Sarah, being your father and loving and caring for you is by far one of my greatest achievements. Your love and compassion shines today as a frontline labor and delivery nurse, helping to bring beautiful new life into this world. Ian, you are a man with many talents. You are the only man I know who can make his own biodiesel fuel. <laughs> You have made many sacrifices in your life for your son, and you are truly a great father to Carter. You truly love Sarah, and that's all we can ever ask for. We are blessed to have you and Carter as part of our family. Ian and Sarah, may you love each other more tomorrow than you do today. May you always see the best in each other, and may your future hold a wealth of blessings from God, and may you always be each other's best friend and greatest love. Congratulations.